Remembering number 93. Tonight, the family and friends of Marshall University football star and Howard County native Larry Aaron gathered for an emotional tribute to him following his passing late last week. WJZ is live. George Solis was there and updates the investigation into what's now become a search for his killer. George. Yeah, good evening, Vic. Definitely a beautiful tribute to Larry held at his former high school tonight. Many sharing their favorite memories of a young man, many likened to a big brother. The stands were filled at Oakland Mills High School Tuesday night. Many sporting 93 strong t shirts. Sadly, staying strong, a challenge for those closest to the man behind the number, Larry Aaron. If you ever wondered what kind of impact a young person could, could have on a community, you're looking at it right now. Larry's family front and center for the emotional tribute to their loved one. Last Thursday, Larry tragically passed away. The 19-year-old Marshall University football player and Columbia native died after medical complications stemming from a gunshot wound that also left him paralyzed at the start of the year. Thank you for his humble yet larger-than-life persona. Authorities say the shooting happened during a New Year's Eve party at this home in Severn. Family saying Larry attempted to shield his girlfriend when a bullet struck him in the back. Anne Arundel County Police say they're now searching for a killer. At this point, our homicide detectives are taking over the case, and we're just asking anyone if they have any information to please come forward. WJZ was also there back in early February in what would be Larry's last public appearance. An emotional evening, just like this one, capturing the power behind his presence and the love many shared for number 93, especially his parents. What can we say? We're proud parents, but we're still hurting at the same time. Tuesday night's vigil included 93 balloons being released and the presentation of his jersey to his parents. We are just happy happy tonight that we had the opportunity to be a part of his life. The evening concluding with a candlelit walk around the gridiron. We have felt so much love for our son, you know, as a father and a mother, as my wife is. We're very proud. The Anne Arundel County Police are urging anyone who was at that New Year's Eve party with Larry to come forward with video or any information they may have. They say what may seem like an insignificant detail to you could help solve the case. Live tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Funeral arrangements for Larry Aaron have not yet been officially announced.